we have a very interesting situation. We're about ready to go under Deception Pass, and it's very narrow, and it's very foggy right now. Everyone's communicating on channel 16, and I think everyone's kind of going one at a time. Join us on the Elliott as we realize our five-year plan with the kids. Grown up, moved out, graduated from college. We take the dog, sold everything, and kitted out the boat so we can cruise the Pacific Northwest all while living and working in the heart of Seattle. So to catch everybody up, Deception Pass is a strait that separates Whidbey Island from Fidalgo Island. It connects the Skagit Bay part of Puget Sound with the Strait of Juan de Fuga. It's got a pair of bridges known collectively as Deception Pass Bridge that goes across the pass that was built in 1930. Um, we often use this route to avoid going across the Straits of Juan de Fuca when the swells stack up broadside to the boat uh, from the Pacific or when there's small craft advisories, which can happen quite often. The only trade-off is Deception Pass has its own challenges in itself. It's a dramatic seascape where the tidal flow and the whirlpools beneath the twin bridges connecting Fidalgo Island and Whibby Island move really fast. During an ebb and a flood tide, the current speed reaches about 8 knots, which is about 9.5 miles an hour, flowing in the opposite directions between the ebb and the flood. Uh, this can lead to standing waves, large whirlpools, and rolling eddies. So just think about this. If you have a boat that goes about 7 knots, sailboat or a trawler, you really want to stay out of that because, gosh, quite frankly, the current uh, is stronger than the speed that your, your vessel can maintain. We're lucky. We have a 15-knot vessel at cruise, so we can go through pretty much at any time. But here's what's tricky for today. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and it still has fog standing out in the straits. This is super rare. That's why it took us off guard today. Everyone's doing a good job of communicating, trying to get through. The other thing is, it's slack tide right now, so everyone wants to go through. This is a Helia. We are going to be going through Deception Pass westbound. We will be favoring the north side of the channel. I haven't seen anything like this before. Not this late in the day. Mm -mm. Okay, I see him in front of us on the radar, so we're good. I don't see anybody else coming. We slowly motored through Deception Pass following motor vessel fluke at a safe distance. John was keeping an eye on the radar to make sure that there wasn't any other vessels that may be coming through that had not announced themselves on the VHF radio. It was very eerie going underneath the bridge with all the fog coming underneath the bridge from the other direction. Yeah. 
It was amazing how different the weather was on either side of the bridge. East side, it was sunny and clear blue sky. On the west side, it was foggy and it continued for quite some time as we made our way through the San Juan Islands. As we came out the other side, we waited for motor vessel Fluke to go in front of us as they were heading towards the north we were headed towards the south to go around San Juan Island to get to our destination, which was Roach Harbor. Never seen the fog so late in the day out here on uh, July. Yeah. July. It's crazy. This is usually a foggiest type of a thing. And all the kelp is as well. That's gross. That's breaking up. Actually, see it's good. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let there be lights. That was not fun. It's always a little bit more nerve wracking. said there may be a boat unmanned adrift, so we'll keep our eyes open for that. The Coast Guard received a report of an unmanned adrift 19-foot white center console. There's a little center console out here. It's anchored. It has the motor up and nobody's aboard. Uh, these folks over here in the other fishing boat saw it and called it into the Coast Guard. We went by, it sounds like the Coast Guard asked them to, to wait. Uh, they're going to bring somebody down from Bellingham to uh, from the Coast Guard to check it out. So we've done everything we can. Not much value had to get out of here, but we just wanted to make sure that it was being looked after. Back up on a plane. Make it a roach at some point in time. Maybe. On that new marina, we are going to take it to e -Dog. On e -Dog, we are going to take it to Slip 2. That is all the way in on e -Dog, on the walkway, basically. Slip 2 is going to be a stern and start for you. Excellent. G2. See you there. Thank you. Perfect. I see it. It's right next to Recon. We're right there, yes. And we will have knocked enough down there to catch lines from him. Excellent. Thank you very much. Next to Recon. <laughs> That's awesome. He's right there with his dog. <laughs> with Cosmo? Yeah. <laughs>